afternoon, everybody. Um, I got another uh, one of my Star Trek things to share with you guys. Um, I actually, this is pretty interesting. I actually won this in a lot collection off eBay. I was going through the stuff and I had wanted a coffee mug, a Star Trek coffee mug, and I'll put a picture of it up for you. Um, to make a long story short, when the hot liquid goes in, Captain Kirk, Mr. Spock, and Dr. McCoy appear in a transporter room. And it's a Star Trek mug. And I really liked it. Well, I was bidding on a couple of them. One of them I lost out on. And I seen another one. Um, the time was about to end, and it was for a lot of Star Trek stuff. It was the coffee mug, so I wanted the coffee mug. So I got a really good price on the whole lot. I think I ended up paying like $15 for the lot. And it was, I think it was like $10 to ship. In addition to the phaser, it came with uh, the coffee mug, and I got a bunch of uh, magnetic um, pictures that go in the refrigerator, and I'll put pictures of those up to show you. Just, I mean, this is getting off the subject, but this is the phaser uh, remote control from Star Trek The Next Generation. And like I said, I didn't buy the lot with this in mind. I didn't really notice it. All I really noticed was the cup, and it's after that it had shipped and I was checking out the packaging information and the shipping, the tracking number, that I noticed that it was a phaser, that the, it was actually a remote control. I thought it was just like a little, a little hand phaser, and it was no big deal, but it's actually pretty cool. <clears throat> so what I'll go ahead is um, tell you, this is from Star Trek, The Next Generation. It is a total remote control for all of your electronic entertainment systems. Phaser Universal Remote Control. And it's, it's actually pretty cool. Let me go ahead and show you the back. <clears throat> Star Trek The Next Generation Phaser Universal Remote Control. Your total remote control for all of your electronic entertainment system needs. It features extensive library for cable, TV, and VCR. A Star Trek sound effect on, volume up, volume down, channel up, channel down, power on, and power off. Direct access keys, lighted tip when the buttons are pushed, memory retention when changing batteries, and a special toll-free number that you can call. Now, I don't know what year this was. Um, I don't see a year on this. If I find a year, I'll put it up, but I'm thinking at some time in the 90s. But let me go ahead and I'll take it out of the box and put some batteries in it for you and show you guys. Okay, so I went ahead, I took it out of the box for you, and I actually found a date on the side of the box. So this was made in 1995. I don't know if you can see that, but I'll put uh, pictures up for you to check. So this is from 1995, Star Trek The Next Generation. Um, like I said, it's, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool piece. I, I don't use it. Um, I'm not using it for TV or anything like that. Um, it's more of a collector piece that I'll keep. But as you can see, it does have the TV button, the cable button, the VCR button, the power button, and under that is a play button. Directly beneath, fast forward, the review, pause, and the stop buttons underneath. On the left hand side beneath the VCR button you have the channel, channel down, channel up, and the record button. On the right hand side beneath the power button you have the volume, increase, decrease, and you have the mute. Now on the side of the unit there is a switch, I guess from standard we, you don't have the lights and the sound effects when you push the buttons and when you push it, oh, I guess it, uh, I guess it still does. Oh, that was because it was on play. When you have it on a standard or STD, I don't know what, uh, what that means. Unfortunately, there's no manual or any paperwork that came with it. And I've never seen one before and I don't really know how to use it. You can see on the bottom, they have the keypad the key punch and you can punch in the channels manually and then the buttons on the bottom have the P, O and the E. Again I don't know what that means. Um, like I said I, I don't have a manual for this and 
this is more of a collector piece than to actually use it. You can see the handle. I don't know if that's clear for you. But <clears throat> it said it had the sound effects on the four buttons on the power. And when you use the power, when you do any of them, it actually lights up. So again, I don't want to shoot you guys. This is just a demonstration. It lights up. That's when you push power, VCR. Nope. Um, the channel up. Channel down. Pretty cool, huh? Once again, channel up. Channel down. And volume up. Volume down. And those are the only things that cause it to uh, light up and make sound effects that I can see, at least with this one. When I hit the power button, it goes on, but VCR, TV, none of the other buttons except the volume, the channel, and the power button. On this one anyway, maybe you have one where it works with more, but maybe this one is defective, I don't know. Because I just, um, like I said, this is more of a collector piece. I'm not actually going to use it as a remote control. But it is a pretty cool novelty. Um, if you're a Star Trek fan, especially Star Trek The Next Generation fan, um, you're probably going to like this. And, you know, what cooler thing to change a channel is sit on TV and watch the ball game, watch the Patriots game. You want to put the volume up? I mean, that's pretty cool. Change a channel. Or even put it on. Feel like Mr. Data surfing through the channels. I mean, it is pretty cool. Um, like I said, I wish I would have had the paperwork that came with it, but I don't. Um, I could do a quick search on Yahoo and see if anything comes up. If I find anything like instructions or anything, I'll put them up in this video, but as of right now, I don't have any of that stuff. I don't have any paperwork that came with this. But this was kind of an added surprise because of the uh, my coffee mug. So it's, it's pretty cool. It's a cool little collector piece that I'm happy to have and add to my collection. Um, if you guys were curious about the Phaser Universal Remote Control from Star Trek The Next Generation, I hope this satisfied your curiosity, and I thank you for watching.